Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing well today. So it is a lot going on with the whole TJ Holmes and Amy Roback situation. It is getting messier and messier. So if you guys do not know, they have been waiting for the past month on what was going to happen to their jobs. They both kind of been, you know, put on hiatus until things could be sorted out. And so TJ and Amy obviously feel like this is not fair. They're grown. They're divorcing their significant others. They should be allowed to, I guess, keep their jobs. So per TMZ, they're saying that TJ Holmes and Amy, they have both lured up for a possible lawsuit and they feel like race could be the factor. So this is what they're saying. ABC could be staring down a barrel of a lawsuit if it fires or pushes TJ Holmes and Amy Robeck out of their anchor jobs because we're told the two have lured up big time if it comes to litigation, race might be an issue. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ that ABC has not clued in TJ Holmes or Amy as to why they were taken off the air a month ago after their romantic relationship surfaced. We're told that they're confused and frustrated why ABC News first told them internally that there would be no disciplinary actions and then the company did an about face. Our sources say that Amy has hired Andrew Brettler, one of the best civil lawyers in Hollywood, and TJ lawyered up with Eric George, a legal force who has handled numerous celebrity cases. We're also told that Brettler and George want answers, which are not which they are not getting so far. Our sources say that, that if ABC keeps TJ and Amy off the air or fires them, the lawyers are ready to file suit. And one of the issues involves race. We're told that the lawyers will pose the question to ABC. Has ABC ever used the morals or conduct clause to fire and discipline two consenting adults at equal levels when both were white? The source is going to say it would be telling if this is the first time that ABC invoked the moral clause under these circumstances with a black and white anchor. Then they're going to say that the damages could be enormous if their reputation and careers are ruined as a result of the discipline at the network. This was on January 13th when it was being announced that they were looking at lawyering up because of their unfair treatment by ABC. Then what was so interesting is that literally a week later, okay, all of a sudden there ends up being this hit piece on TJ Holmes where they're putting out all his affairs, okay? And so this was on the 19th of January, just a few days after they lured up, all of a sudden... All of a sudden, all of the mainstream media is like page six and so many others, Daily Mail started saying that TJ Holmes allegedly had sex with a 24 year old ABC employee and they're also calling him a predator. I find this very interesting. If you guys remember my live stream that I did a few weeks ago, I talked about him cheating with this intern. He also cheated with another production person. So TJ Holmes is a serial cheater. But I find it very interesting that they're using the word predator. So they're saying TJ Holmes allegedly has sex with a much younger subordinate while on the job. A source claimed that a source claimed to the Daily Mail that on Thursday, Holmes had a month long affair with Jasmine Petaway, then 24 back in 2015. Then they go on to say he was a predator who took full advantage of his position and he was reckless, claimed the source who reportedly knew Petaway as a script coordinator at the time. It was Jasmine's first real television job. It was a big deal for her, continued the source who spoke to the outlet on condition of anonymity. She was looking for a mentor and she reached out to several people. TJ was someone who was responsive, but he absolutely abused his position of trust. Petaway and Holmes joined the ABC team in September of 2014, and they often worked the same shifts. Holmes was someone who would grab drinks, and him and Jasmine started doing that. The informant went on to allege that the first time the pair's relationship got sexual was in his office, only a couple hours before he was set to go on air. 
The insider claimed to the male that they had sex, and I know she was confused afterwards as to what that meant. According to the source, Holmes' alleged behavior with Petaway was not uncommon, but rather part of incredibly reckless conduct on his part. The anchor even allegedly got handsy with Petaway in public while they were having drinks per the report. Then they go on to say he just seemed to not care. He was wearing his wedding ring at the time, and the pair's alleged affair fizzled out after a few months, leaving the insider wondering whether Holmes was ever invested in being a mentor at all. He had it all on his terms. He was interested, and then he wasn't, the informant claimed. No one talked about abuse of power back then, but this stuff happened. The ABC source tells Page Six exclusively that there's already an internal investigation underway into anything that happened between TJ and Jasmine Petaway. So today's show sponsor is Liquid IV. Now you guys know I am a boy's mom. So as a boy's mom, one thing that you will always have in your home is some type of aid, right? Powerade, Gatorade, and Band-Aids. So when Liquid IV contacted me and told me about their product, I was really excited about this just for the fact that they were in simple pouches that you could carry around with you. So if you guys do not know, just one stick of Liquid IV gives you five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. You can use it first in the morning, before a workout, when you feel run down, or after a long basketball game. So me and the boys have been trying this and we really like it. One, the flavor is on point. I think they taste better than Gatorade in my personal opinion, but they sent us a lot of different flavors so we got to try them out. And my top three flavors were Tropical Punch, Tart Green Apple, and Watermelon. And I put my packages upside down so that we can see what the flavor is when we grab them. But we really like them and they're very, very convenient. It's just a simple pouch. You put it in a bottle of water and you're good to go. So grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco where you can use my code and save 20% off at checkout or else you can go on to liquidiv.com and use code TEATIME at checkout as well. That's 20% off of anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today. So make sure you use the promo code TEATIME at liquidiv.com. Make sure you check them out today. So that has come out, right? So they're definitely playing a dirty game. Now, I'm not saying that he wasn't wrong for, you know, if he was in a position of power over her. But let's not act like a lot of people also don't try to sleep their way up the corporate ladder. This happens. I worked in corporate America for so long. This happens all the time, you know, where people will try and sleep with certain people in certain positions to try and get ahead. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it fizzles out. You know what I'm saying? But like they stayed in the thing the whole time he had his ring on. So, she also knew he was married, but she didn't care. She was a consenting adult. I think TJ Holmes is trash, but I also see what ABC is trying to do. They're trying to destroy his image in the media. Because again, if I knew about this weeks ago, when I first reported on the story, then ABC definitely knew about it. And if it wasn't an issue then back in 2014, 2015, and they kept him on the air all this time, why is this, you know, secret source now trying to speak and spill the tea on the details of the situation? Obviously, ABC wasn't bothered back then when they allowed everything to rock. Now, on top of that, now they're saying that his, you know, his new girlfriend, Amy, honey, the one he left his wife Marley for, she's coming out saying that she was blindsided by the extent of TJ Holmes' alleged affair. So to me, it sounds like there might be some trouble in paradise. And now, you know, Amy maybe jumping ship to save her own ass. So this is what's being reported. They're saying Amy didn't expect her alleged affair with TJ Holmes to blow up into a scandal. The Good Morning America personality whose shocking romance with her co-worker catapulted the pair into the news cycle last November says that she feels like she is collateral damage. She says she had no idea of the scope of TJ's alleged past office romances. Also referencing TJ Holmes' alleged dealings with an intern 13 years his junior. She certainly did not foresee that their relationship was going to cause major upheaval outside of their own marriage. Robach 
49 and Holmes 45 were taken off the air shortly after the news broke of the scandal. The Sun source believes that the inquest will look into Amy's past to try and find some scandal on her. But fortunately for her, she's been fairly well behaved. However, a source tells Page Six that Robach was not blindsided and that TJ Holmes had been very upfront with her in regards to his dealings with former associates of ABC. Now, they also go on to say that they have not been terminated yet, but I don't expect TJ to be on again, an insider told Page Six last week, noting that both parties have lured up amid the negotiations. Now, they do want Amy to stay and be a part of things there, but most likely they can't keep her because of TJ. Now, I find that very interesting that they, they're actually wanting her to stay as if she's just some poor damsel in distress. She knew what she was doing when she got with him. She's just as loose morally as he is. Several clips of the co-anchors have gone viral since the reveal of their off-screen romance, including a TikTok of them talking about training together for the New York City Marathon. You're the pacer, that may be the pacey. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're the pacey. Okay, so yeah. But we're gonna both be finishers, and that's what counts. Uh, this is the part of the show. Really, we, we joke, we laugh, and we're having a good time here, but these are absolutely two of my favorite people <laughs> on the planet. So, of course, you all know uh, Amy Robach and her husband here, Andrew Shue, who's a dear, dear friend as well. Well, uh, even though they're having fun here and they can smile and laugh and hug and kiss, these are two folks who got together, both divorced, and also she had two girls, he had three sons, and that family came together. Wasn't always easy. It wasn't always easy, but now here they are. So check this story out. The segment was filmed in October 2021 and features the pair promoting their book Better Together on GMA3. During the segment, Amy and Andrew gush about their love story, revealing how they met and blended their families. We were set up at a book party. In five minutes, we were nose to nose talking about our kids. Yes, he showed me the picture of his three sons. I showed him the picture of my two daughters and then he got my number. And we thought this could work. We met the next day. Within five months, we were engaged. And within 10 months, we were married. And then we started blending our family. <laughs> Viewers quickly pointed out the irony of the resurfaced clip. A week ago, it was revealed that Amy and TJ had an alleged off-screen romance after photos surfaced of the pair holding hands in a car and looking flirty at a bar in upstate New York. TJ Holmes has been married for about 10 years. So all these women who were willing to have an affair with him in the office for whatever reason, maybe they just wanted some good dick or they wanted a new position. Either way, they knew that he was a married man and they had no problem getting with TJ Holmes. So for her now to try and play the, oh, I'm shocked and I didn't know, I find that very interesting. Now, there's also been some extra tea being spilled about Amy. Now, they're saying allegedly she also had an affair with Matt Larrer then left NBC, and she did this all the while married to Andrew Shu. so she's no angel either. Um, I feel like this article might have been put out there by her team to make her seem, you know, innocent. But again, I feel like all of this stuff that's happened at ABC, this happens in corporate companies all around the country. This is nothing new. Coworkers sleep with other coworkers. They have affairs with other coworkers because sometimes when you are working these jobs, you spend more time with your coworkers than you do with your own husband or wife. Okay, so much so that they have the term called work husband, work spouse, work wife. Like you literally have people in the parking lot of the job getting head on the lunch breaks because they haven't been able to even make it home to see their husband or wife in days because their schedules are conflicting. Not okaying it, not saying it's right, it's fucked up, but this is a reality. So if they're going to start really pushing these morality clause, they need to start at the top. Because I can assure you, more than just those two were in there fucking. I'm sure a lot of people in there having affairs, having little side chicks and mistresses. You know, that's just how it is in corporate. And a lot of stuff happens like that in media. Yeah, they're supposed to be, you know, pristine and, you know, carry themselves a certain way. But at the end of the day, people are just people. TJ Holmes is trash. 
Amy Roback is trash. All these people who were sleeping with him looking for a position or looking for comfort, they're trash because they knew he was married. The only victim in this situation is, is TJ Holmes' long-suffering wife who held on to this man for years while he basically cheated on her publicly. And what's even more sadder is that TJ Holmes is the one who filed for divorce. Marley didn't even file for divorce. After all this mess came out, she was probably still low-key trying to work it out with him because they have kids. TJ Holmes ran and filed for divorce. So that says a lot about his character. He's he's trash, you know, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But I definitely feel like all of a sudden, you know, all these articles are coming out to even defame his character more than it already has been defamed. Because in the event that they go into a legal battle, they want to sully his character really bad. And if Amy doesn't watch her steps, they're going to pull out her dirt out, too. So I think that this article about her being blindsided is probably put out there by her peoples. I can see the stress of all this drama ending their relationship because they're both anchors. They're both news people. This is all they know. But with this scandal, who's going to allow them to come on their network? I don't see CNN rolling out the red carpet for TJ Holmes again. You know, anybody really, NBC rolling out the carpet for these guys just because their reputation is so tainted right now. And the fact that they felt no shame. You know, they were both married and they allowed themselves to be photographed in public, you know, cuddling and kissing and all that stuff. It's like if you're going to cheat and do all that and you know that the public is going to feel away, have some cooth about yourself. To me, they're both trifling. So with that being said, I leave the ball in y'all's court. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Amy Robach claiming that now she's blindsided by the extent of TJ Holmes' affair. How do you feel about um, ABC coming out with with that hit piece about TJ Holmes cheating with somebody 13 years his junior? And what do you guys think is going to eventually happen to TJ Holmes and Amy Robach? Do you think that they do have a case and that they will move forward with the lawsuit? Do you think they'll come to some type of agreement and everybody will go their separate ways? So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed. Talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.